today's been one of those days that's been really enjoyable you know riding our fat cats facility has been mega and what a place it is to test out the wp exact pro suspension you know we had a range of bikes to test today which was the ktm 250 sx the fc 250 uh, four stroke husqvarna and also as well the ktm 450. <laughs> My name is uh, Matte Felt. If you start on the front, basically the length of the fork is 5mm longer, plus then 5mm more stroke, obviously. The damping system is basically the same as on our older version, but we have a lot of small updates on many parts, especially on the cone valve system, we have a new piston design. And then if you move up towards the compression unit, we have different length of the pressure uh, cone rod, which basically creates more plushness and comfort for the rider. And it also has a two millimeter different, uh, we call it blow off point, to equalize the cartridge pressure, which basically the same brings plushness and uh, comfort to the rider. We also have the inner tube, the different chrome, yes, where we basically went for a hard chrome compared to the black, uh, what we had before. This is by far the best from durability and friction-wise compared to anything else. What is nice with these forks, what we have today, is that they are firm enough to go really fast, but with always with a nice uh, plushness and comfort. On the fork, basically, you can from the outside change the preload. So very convenient, especially if you have racing and during time practice something, you do want to come in a pit lane and do a quick change. Basically, with a special key, you turn the preload uh, plus or minus, and obviously compression damping and rebound damping. Some of the things that I felt on the bikes today was that the bike was more balanced when I was coming into turns. I could I could push harder into the faces of the jumps, and again, that's just down to the. The cone valves, you know, you've got three cone valves, you've got different spring rates that you can use it just in the front forks alone, adding preload, the, the rebound, the compression. You know, you can really, really fine tune the front forks because you've got such a wide range of adjustability that, that it, again, it's down to you knowing what you want from, from the suspension. Some of the key, key factors which is worth noting is, is that they've got a super tracks now, so it seems that WP have come out of a new design um, and it's adjustable. And you've got massive range in terms of clickers, um, adjustability, and it's just, it's just a case of finding what you like and how you like it. And your needs can be met because the suspension can deliver. Yeah, basically this is something completely new now, what we bring out to the customer. It's, it's totally different than the uh, previous one, which was called Tracks which was basically controlled with the wheel coming off the ground and then the spring and internal small springs to open up the system to aim for the rear wheel to be on the ground. We have now an internal adjustment system and basically what we do is we can change the normal rebound adjuster like a normal shock but we also have a separate function for changing the high speed rebound. Many riders, I would say, when you play with this, they describe it as a, maybe a stability feeling in the rear. Thicker feel or looser feel, depending on what you search for. It definitely can help you to bring more or traction out on acceleration. Basically, you just come into pit lane and do a quick change, where you in the normal shock have to go in and open up the shock and do your setting change to create the feel you want. You want. The, the trackability, you know, when I was coming out of the turns, the, the, the bike actually wasn't sliding, it was just driving. And um, But what the suspension allowed you to do with, when, you, when you was adjusting it was, was really fine tune it so you could really get that drive out of the turns and not get the slide especially on some of the jump faces where they were you know the jump faces are really hard so they so they don't rat out or cup out and when you want to push into some of them faces you're already on a little bit of a lean or a little bit of an angle and, and the last thing that you want is the bike to be to drive in sideways you just want it to drive and pull so you can really get a good feel for the bike and and commit into um in pushing hard into the jump face <laughs> Bye.
coming out of the turns, it like kept in a straight line instead of just wobbling. Yeah, I felt like I could just stand up and just lean instead of feel like I'm risking everything. I've got the old shock on my KTM 125, and now today I rode with the new shock, and it were a big improvement. What you could do there, and what we was playing about with today was, is, you know, we went, we fully closed it off, and it and it made the top part of the stroke or should I say all of the stroke, quite hard and firm and planted. I was a little bit questioning whether I'd like it, but I actually did. Um, the, the next thing from that was actually when we went all the way open as well, the, the, the stroke felt softer and it was, it was moving more, so it allowed me to transfer my weight into a different position. But the, the two variables you could really feel. So for example, when it was soft, you know, you could predict it. It was it had a predictability about it. It was soft all the way through the stroke and, and you could adjust your body weight and you could feel and, and feed in the power and really get the drive. When it was fully closed off, and I have to emphasize, it's never fully closed off. So I'm saying it's fully closed off, but it's not. It's, it's closed, it's still active and it's still working. But what happens then is, is the stroke's firmer. So then again, you can really predict the movement of the rear wheel for the slide and, and just, um, just allows you just to hit the bumps a little bit harder and just to work it to your advantage. The Super Track mainly works on impact, so when you're hitting things with force is when it kicks in. Say a big difference is basically also the check valve that we have in the shaft, and this makes it totally each adjuster independent from each other, which you don't have on any other OEM shock where you basically, in theory, always have oil flow in the shaft so if you adjust your rebound on a normal shock you will automatically make it softer or harder as well but since we have a check valve ball in the shaft basically when you adjust the rebound on, on, the, on this shock you will not adjust your compression so everything is totally separate from so that makes much more fine-tuning of your shock Again, one of the only things that I can see is a downfall with, it, with having this suspension is the massive range that you could actually end up getting yourself lost and in trouble. When really, you know, my advice would be is to go and see a, a WP center and, and get the bike set up to, to your liking and, and really take on, um, take on some settings, maybe go to a sand track and a hard pack track and just get, get the suspension dialed and get you comfortable on the bike. It doesn't matter if you're slow or fast, when you feel safer, you basically automatically go faster and your lap time will drop. So I think they, it's a wake up call, even especially for the guys who don't think they need it, but when they have a chance to try it, they actually realize that, wow, I could actually use this product as well.